Just nine months ago, Dream was sitting at 1,200 subscribers. Yes, this YouTube Goliath was at 1,000 subs just nine months ago. Then, nine months later, his channel exploded to over 3 million subs. Every day, his subscriber count is increasing by 30,000, giving him over 660,000 subscribers every month. This is Mr. Beast level growth, and for a gaming channel, it is just insane. So how did he do it? Is there something he knows that we don't? What are the secrets behind this unprecedented growth? I gathered four of the most important factors to dream success that I will be revealing in this video. Before we dive in, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe. Enjoy the video. Factor 1. How does dream gain views? Most videos made by Dream have two features that make them very clickable. They have a bang factor and they spark curiosity. Let me explain. The videos that Dream posts spark interest in a few words. Every title puts an absurd idea in your head. The type of idea that makes you wonder about the end result. The type of idea that makes you say, there is no way they did that. You can see this in many of the fastest growing YouTube channels in the platform. Mr. Beast, for example. Every one of his videos plants an idea in your head. An idea that makes you itch to know what would happen if that idea was real. For example, imagine being told that someone said PewDiePie 100,000 times. You wouldn't believe it, but at the same time, you would really want to know how that would look. These titles that spark curiosity are perfect. So to make an extremely clickable video, you have to do something unbelievable. Then you have to make your title spark curiosity in all that see it. Factor number two, how does Dream keep audience retention? Dream has amongst the highest audience retention on the platform. Why is that? Two words. Every video is like a movie. Let me explain. Movies have specific formats that make them suspenseful, making you curious as to what happens at the end of the film, keeping you on the edge of your seat. Dream's videos are like mini movies. The way he formats them is simply astonishing. Dream makes sure to cut out the bad fluff and only keep the suspenseful and action-packed parts of his recording. Not only that, the music in his videos emphasizes the action happening. This makes everything seem even better. When he's being chased, dark music plays. When he has come out victorious, he plays Christmas music. My point is, his videos, like movies, have plots. They keep you on the edge of your seat, making you wonder what happens at the end. So to make engaging content, you have to make sure to cut out the bad fluff and only keep the good stuff in the video. Make sure that your audience isn't satisfied until the conclusion and use music as a tool to make the video more exciting. Factor number three, how does Dream get people to subscribe? Everyone knows how most YouTubers get subscribers. They basically scream and beg. It's not very effective because it doesn't make the YouTubers seem reasonable. Dream, however, does it a completely different way. He uses YouTube statistics to show that it would be reasonable for the audience to subscribe. He shows a segment of his analytics and quotes it. He shows that subscribing wouldn't be hard for the audience, so they might as well do it to support him. He says this specifically. According to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It's free, you can always unsubscribe. Enjoy the video. As you can see, Dream uses statistics to be more reasonable when asking for a subscription, instead of simply begging. Factor number four, how did Dream first start growing? This mostly applies to small YouTubers, so all of you out there, listen up. Dream first started gaining traction on YouTube by making videos about bigger YouTubers and trends. His very first viral video was about PewDiePie's World Seed, and one of his very first videos that got decent views was on Curse Minecraft, a trend at the time. He used bigger trends and channels to bring attention to himself. Taking advantage of these bigger trends is one of the easiest ways to start getting traction on YouTube. To some, it might seem like a cheap strategy, but many of the biggest YouTubers nowadays used to do it. Mr. Beast, for example, said PewDiePie 100,000 times. I see many small YouTubers nowadays focusing on themselves rather than focusing on topics people actually want to know about. Nobody wants to know what happened on your fifth Let's Play. Nobody cares. But once you start using bigger names and trends to bring attention to yourself, you will finally start gaining traction. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Those are the four secrets of Dream and how he has grown so fast over the past nine months. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that subscribe button and that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two videos about growth on YouTube, which I will be showing right about now. And yeah, with that, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.